I am back at the desk. Away from rock band and podcasts are all done. Well, I mean until the next one, which is about grad school. And it's in a couple of weeks. Now, I keep thinking about that workshop that Beth did on Saturday. It was about vulnerability and ferocity. I am not often vulnerable. This is probably partly because society tells me I shouldn't be. And partly because it's super scary. I defined vulnerability on Saturday as giving people an opportunity to exploit you. And it is sort of callously but essentially true. I mean, it also gives people an opportunity to impress you. It gives people an opportunity. It, it, it means trusting people, and it means giving them an opportunity to be worthy of that trust. But that means that they could betray that trust. And we talked a lot about that. We, did, we Beth had some great exercises that, that, that came with that. An exercise which I will mention, I very nearly failed in the deepest and most problematic way. So, yeah, I'll come right out and say that. Uh, and thankfully I did not. Um, I was I was properly corrected before I made uh, a grave error. So thank you, Beth, for that. It is difficult to be vulnerable. But we often regard vulnerability as, as a strength. People who are willing to be vulnerable are people who take risks. They are people who whose lives fill with richness because often being vulnerable is good. It shows people that you are willing to be vulnerable to them, and it encourages them to do the same with you. That's how you build trust. And trust is how you build relationships. And relationships are how you build, I don't know, happiness or something. Success, too, probably. Certainly doesn't hurt. I am also not often ferocious or fierce. This is partly because I don't think that word belongs to me. I mean, fierce is a word that... Uh, Janice Lee, is a, she's a, she is a local poet. I say that like I don't have the biggest artist crush on Janice Lee, but I totally do. Um, she's the Kitchener Artist in Residence right now. You can find her, some links to her stuff in the show notes. Fierce is what Beyonce is, she said. And women like Beyonce. And fierce is a, a word that we use to recognize and celebrate women who are being powerful and assertive because the previous word that we that, that we used for that was bitchy and there are huge immense problems with that uh, the likes of which I cannot even begin to speak to so I, I would I don't describe myself as fierce partly because I am meek and partly because I do not feel that that belongs to me I also do not like being fierce because I am large I am pretty big and I think that if I am fierce, which people, I think, equate with aggressiveness or, or, or um, very aggressive assertion, I can make people feel unsafe. And that is not something that I want, basically ever. And making people feel safe is why we do all this. It's so we make each other feel safe. And so hopefully we make you guys feel safe to make stuff. I am also super strange. I wrote a post, uh, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago about managing my strangeness and and how how much sort of work that takes. And the result, I think, is that it like like if I get into one of those modes where I am being super super assertive and making declarations and get like I sort of get weirder and weirder as I stop paying attention to that because the point of ferocity is that it is unrestrained it is unmanaged and I, I sort of I get sufficiently strange that I become difficult to communicate with if you're a human being <laughs> I start talking about my bull rushes and their nature and Things get out of hand. Like it, the metaphors run really deep, and they get super weird. It's like when you're filling a sack of beans with a scorpion inside it. Why? What does that even mean? Like I have, I will occasionally review chat conversations and be like, Jim, what are you trying to say? People are frustrated with you because you are being weird. But yeah, 
So it is. I, I find being fierce very challenging, and I find being vulnerable equally challenging. So it was really great to have a workshop that eased me into thinking about those and gave me the advantage of having a lot of people's different perspectives on what those mean and how they work. And I am excited to explore spaces where I feel comfortable doing these things and being this way. And this is going to be one of those spaces when I am ready for it. That'll be another video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Ryan and I are going to play some video games. And on Friday, we've got the Rock Band video. And on Saturday, I have no idea what we're going to do, but it'll be fun. Maybe Skyrim. Anyway, see you guys later. This is Fierce is like, what, Beyond? Beyond? Beyonce. Beyonce? Beyonce. Jim, how, how can you not say Beyonce? Fierce is what Beyonce. <laughs> Fucking hell? <laughs>